I have another tip and trick video for you guys. This one is for anyone who owns an iPad and was thinking about getting a second portable monitor to help them be a bit more productive when using their computer. Now, instead of going out and buying that second monitor, if you own an iPad at least, you could just use that. And actually, it's pretty easy to do and it will work on Mac and PCs. So first, let's start with what you do if you have a newer Mac. Now, you need to make sure that you are logged into the same iCloud account on the Mac and on the iPad. Then you're gonna make sure that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are both turned on on both devices and that they are both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. On the Mac, we're gonna to go to settings, then general and check on allow handoff. Then on the iPad, we're gonna to go to settings, general, airplay and handoff and turn on handoff there as well. Next, on the Mac, we can click on the airplay icon at the top and select the iPad from the list to connect to it. And after that, you should be able to just drag and drop to it as a separate monitor. It's that easy. And you can also click on the icon that was the AirPlay icon to change settings, like whether you want to mirror the display or extend it, show or hide the sidebar or touch bar on the iPad, etc. Another thing is that this method only works if you have a newer Mac and a newer iPad. And you should try to make this work first. If it doesn't though, or if you happen to have a PC and you want to get that to work, then we'll use a program called Duet Display to get it to work instead. So firstly, Duet Display does cost $10, but it's a one-time payment for the iPad app, and that's that. You can add optional features for a subscription cost if you want, but we'll get into that in a bit. There is, however, a free option called Splashtop Wired X Display, and it will work in the same way as what I'm about to show you with Duet. You download the Splashtop app, though, for your computer and the iPad instead of the Duet one, and just follow the instructions to set that up. Honestly, though, Duet just works so much smoother, and in my mind, is well worth the $10. So that's what I would suggest, and that's what I'm gonna show here. So first, we're gonna download the desktop app from Duet Display's site, and you can click the link below to get to that. Then we're gonna install it and open it. Now once opened, we're gonna find the Duet Display in the App Store on the iPad and install and open that as well. Next, we're gonna plug the iPad in via USB cable to the computer, and it should automatically recognize it as a display, and you'll just start to see your desktop on the iPad. Now you can adjust resolution, frame rate, and energy efficiency from the settings panel on the desktop Duet display app, but I'd recommend leaving it at 60 frames per second, high power, and whatever resolution you kind of want. Now, if you're on a PC, you can click on the start menu and go to settings, system, display to adjust where the iPad screen is in relation to your original screen by dragging it around and clicking apply. You can also change whether the iPad display is a duplicate of the original or the more useful, usually, extension of the original display. Now, if you want to lose the cable, first, click on Profile in the Desktop Duet Display app and sign up there for a free account. Once you have your account and you log in with it, you can then click on Desktop on the left and then click on Start the Free Trial in there for Duet Air. Now, as I mentioned, this is one of those extra optional features that does cost $20 a year, at least at the time of making this video. You can use the seven day trial, see if you like it, and of course go from there. Next, we're gonna go to settings in the Duet desktop app and check the box to enable Duet Air. And then if you get this red warning here on Windows, you're going to go to the start menu search and we're gonna type in Windows Defender Firewall and click on that. And then we're gonna click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. We're gonna click change settings. And then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find Duet. And we're gonna make sure that it is checked on for private and public, and then click okay. And then in the Duet app on the iPad, we're gonna tap sign in on the bottom right and sign in with the same account that we just created on the desktop version. Now, so long as both are on the same network and you have both apps open on both the computer and the iPad, it should automatically connect to the iPad from there without a cable. There you guys, a quick tip and trick, uh, hopefully to make you a bit more productive if you happen to own an iPad. I have to give a quick shout out to MJ from Gadget Match for filming all of the Mac parts of that. Um, I happened to, right before quarantine, loan my MacBook out to a friend of mine who happened to have lost her job and, well, now I don't have one. So thanks to him for uh, helping me out with this video. You guys should go check his channel out though. He does some really cool tech stuff. Um, I'll link that here as well. Let me know though in the comments below guys, if this worked for you, um, what you guys thought of the video, etc. Always 
appreciate hearing from you guys. And if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also, check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next door to subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. Also, there's a link below to be taken to my email newsletter. It goes out once a week. You can sign up for it there. It has all the videos that I do here on YouTube, plus other tips and tricks and other fun things that happen on the website that don't necessarily make it here to video. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching.